Hello, everyone. I'm Christine Flynn of the Catholic Mama, and I'm joined today by my uh, friend and co-host of the Caritas Conference, which we'll be talking about in uh, this episode, Lauren DeWitt. Lauren, hello. Hey, Christine. Thanks for having me on. So um, this is, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, hello. Hello. It's nice to be able to put our faces up um, online, or or if you're looking at the CaritasConference.com website, welcome. And for those listening on the podcast today, Lauren and I are going to spend a few minutes talking about the Caritas Conference, which we are entering our second year of doing this. Lauren was a speaker in last year's conference and has graciously uh, allowed me to um, uh, bounce a lot of ideas off of her and help me (laughs) immeasurably with planning and organizing the 2022 conference, which is really cool because we're doing it in person and virtual just like last year. So uh, I'm just so excited to get to do this again, because last year it, it kind of all came together by the grace of God. And, and now we're a team and I, I feel even more excited to get going. Yeah, I think the watching the Holy Spirit work through this, just even from the one that you started last year and hearing your story about how you just felt compelled in prayer to just take this on kind of out of the blue when you were already like underwater with so many other things. And then it had such beautiful impact and it was just, it was so life-giving to so many women. And then, you know, when you asked me to come in with you this year, I was like, Oh, I don't think I can, but the Holy Spirit again has just (laughs) come through and I, we've got amazing women lined up for this year and the in-person is going to be, I think it's just gonna be incredible. So I'm really excited what God's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Actually uh, the gospel passage about when Jesus calls the disciples to go out fishing again. And they say, look, we didn't get anything. And then he goes out with them. They fish more and they're almost overwhelmed by how many fish get in their boat. I feel like that sometimes. When yes. Yeah. It's like, Hey, you can do this too. I can, but what if the <laughs> boat overflows? You know? Uh, but yeah, Caritas started last year. I was supposed to take some time off, give myself some breathing room. And instead this whole idea of helping to just the tagline, equip women for the war on femininity stuck in my head. And it kept niggling. And um, I I said, kept niggling. It was over the course of a week over Thanksgiving week. Mm -hmm. And by mid December, I had um, really fleshed out what I had hoped this conference would be and, and getting to work with our speakers last year, like yourself, I got even uh, a better, better, more clarity on what I wanted this conference to be. And, And now this year in 2022, um, the lineup of women helping to set the foundation of what what are the issues for for women in our modern age? Um, you know, is feminism a good thing? Did it miss the mark? And what do we do about the um, a, the, the cultural um, acceptance of abortion or promiscuity or the way women dress or that we're forced uh, in a way to uh, choose career over home if we want to be real women? Um, there's a lot of stuff going on here that. You know, I, I know because I hear from women, I'm sure you do on um, on your blog, We're like how do we um, how do we handle and balance all of this? And we know that it's different as Catholics, but how does that actually look mm-hmm. in our daily lives? Um, so to, to take the conference, it's a, a you know, we, we take the, the philosophical and theological overview mm-hmm. of um, femininity, feminism, the church's response to it. And then give a lot of practical advice on how to live this out in various um, in various ways. I, I'm hoping will resonate with a lot of women as it did last year. Yeah, I think so. I think you know, just even taking a cursory glance at the news today, almost every single piece is in some way against what the church teaches on women. It's either pushing transgenderism. Um, denigrating traditional marriage it's it's against women being in the home i mean you hear so much uh sadness and uproar on the news right now about how many women are staying home choosing to stay home after the pandemic because they found out they liked it and some reason that's a bad thing and then even for those of us who have taken steps to really get to know what the church teaches about authentic femininity and to try to live lives that are radically different from the culture we still sometimes underestimate how much creep the culture has, even into our own homes. Even if you were brought up in a very beautiful, loving Catholic background, the culture is so saturated in anti-woman messaging um, that it's, it's hard to separate anything from it. And so I think even women who have been on this road a long time through the conference and hearing different stories 
um, will see some areas in their lives that, hey, that's an area I can give over for healing. That's something I never thought of. That is, that's another way that I can more radically give my fiat. And so that, that's part of my hope for the conference as well. Yeah. yeah, we actually got some very good feedback last year on that exact topic. Women would say, yeah, I was always a strong Catholic, strong in my faith, you know, strong with the, the Catholic Church's teachings on uh, the, the complementarity of men and women. But wow, this conference was needed. I should listen to this every year. And, and well, we're going to do it again yeah. <laughs> this year. Um, and, and but this year, it's a little bit different. So um, I had never coming out of the pandemic year and lockdowns and, you know, I, I, running an in-person conference was not simple at the beginning of 2021. And, and certainly I didn't know how to run an in-person conference. So we opted for virtual. And, um, and we had thousands of women sign up for it and join us from around the world, which is really cool. And we're going to do that again. But this year it's different because, well, one, I live in Wisconsin and would like to get out of the cold in February. <laughs> and two, as it turns out, there's like a really great pocket of Catholics down in Louisiana. Yes, come <laughs> so, down south. Yeah, so we're going to Baton Rouge in uh, February 19th of 2022 to bring... Um, to bring the conference to you know an in-person space to enjoy the fellowship and, and sacraments as well during mm -hmm. that day, adoration, reconciliation, ending and vigil mass, um, to you know, to blend the best of both worlds. I mean, virtual is awesome. I love doing it, but it, it doesn't uh, the, the in-person stuff. If we can if we can get together in person, is different and and, yeah. and good in, in its own right. So, um, thank you for opening up your diocese. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know, but I just they don't know. There. Uh, no, they're good. We're excited. Um, we'll be doing the in-person portion at Sacred Heart of Jesus uh, Catholic Church and Father Miles Walsh is the pastor there now and he feels uh, he's a strong supporter of authentic femininity and has always had a very strong, clear message um, about the authentic church teaching and just standing out against a culture that's really against us all. Um, so he was thrilled when he heard about it. And um, I meet women in Baton Rouge every day who are living these, these, uh, these safe and these beautiful, faithful lifestyles, but they don't know other women. Mm -hmm. um, and they're like, you know, I've been in Baton Rouge my whole life, but I don't know other women. Like maybe my high school friends aren't living like this. Um, and so to be able to have that in-person portion to like connect and create community. Um, and then of course, I know that there was community created through the online portion, even last year. So I just, yeah. I think this will be exponential and I'm just, I'm really excited about it. Yeah. yeah. The, the energy that you get from being in person is just different than what you get virtually. Uh, but what I really am excited about too, is that we get to record all of the in-person mm. uh, presentations that we are doing in Baton Rouge. And anybody who signs up for the Caritas Conference virtual version will get access to all those videos. Uh, now, I will note, just like last year, the virtual version is free. Um, so it, the virtual Caritas Conference will go on the same weekend as, as 2021. It'll go from March 19th to March 21st, 2022, uh, the weekend of the Feast of St. Joseph. Um, and, and throughout the weekend, I put up the, the presentations and you can watch them as, as your schedule allows. At the end of the weekend though, the presentations um, are not, no longer available. And for anybody who would like to support the Caritas Conference and, and help us grow next year, um, there's a small fee that you can get the lifetime uh, access to these presentations and you can watch them and rewatch them whenever you'd like. Um, so uh, the, the in-person um, uh, pres or, I'm sorry, the in-person conference will have a small fee for that just to help us cover costs. Uh, and then the, the virtual one is free entirely unless you'd like to hold on to those presentations and have them uh, and to watch and share um, with, uh, you know, however many times you'd like to. And that, that again, that's a, that's a pretty small fee as well. So uh, I think all in all, we're going to have about uh, nine or 10 speakers mm -hmm. for the virtual conference. Five of those will be in person. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I think we, like we said, we, we covered, uh, you know, we were pretty intentional when we were discussing topics. Ho hopefully we hit all the buckets, yeah. you know, laying the, found, the groundwork of what's wrong with our culture's view of women and, and then building back up, you know, what does the church say about it? How does the church response, respond? And then here's how we can live our, our lives as holy Catholic women, regardless of our vocation, which I want to touch on that too. Feedback last year I got was um, asking to hear from some uh, religious and also asking to hear from some mature women 
mm-hmm. which we, we did, uh, we were able to get uh, some speakers on board. We have a, a religious sister from Sisters of Life who will be speaking. Um, and, um, and I, you know, that's just one of uh, eight or nine more <laughs> besides Lauren and myself. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, we're excited. So, um, yes, yeah, so the in-person day will be on a Saturday, February 19th. And part of the fee there will cover, um, breakfast and lunch on us and we'll have swag and fun things like that during the day. And then for those of you who will join us virtually the following month on March 19th, you'll get, again, like Christine said, the benefit of those five in-person talks plus four to five more additional virtual speakers. And um, I think we're doing the happy hour again this year too, huh? Yep. Yep. Online, we will do a virtual Zoom social hour. And hopefully, like last year, we had some good giveaways. We'll try to line those up as well. But that was actually really cool last year. We were able to get all of the presenters to join in the happy hour. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to be that that lucky this year, but we'll try. But it was really great because we had people um, send in questions beforehand mm-hmm. to help guide and, and make the most of that social hour. Um, and, and just to have, again, to bring a live um, component to a virtual event to make it feel more like we were there together was, was really, um, I think really unique to what, to this, this particular conference. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you want to sign up, um, you can just go to caritasconference.com. There's, um, the first page that you'll see is the one to sign up for the in-person, uh, in Baton Rouge in February. And then there's another tab uh, for virtual, and you can go over there and sign up and um, get on the list for uh, the the virtual conference, which will happen in March as well. Um, so we have a lot of planning and, and work to do ahead of us, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I, God's got it. Yeah, yeah, God, yeah, God's got it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Um, but yeah, so uh, I will put the links in the show notes and um, and below wherever you're watching or listening to this video, so you can find um, Caritas Conference. Um, and also I should say, I'm excited to last year, um, or this year, excuse me, we have, uh, Father Gregory Pine doing a, a, a blessing to kick off our weekend as well, a virtual weekend, which I, I just love that we are able this year to bring in more of the religious community into this yeah. conference because, um, well, we're all in this together and, and I, I love having the blessings yeah. of religious it makes it feel like we're actually doing, uh, you know, we're on the right track here. I agree. So uh, I don't know, Lauren, was there anything else that you, I think we covered a good amount. Yeah. And every, you know, all the information again is on caritasconference.com and you can always reach out to me or Christine. Um, y'all know where to find us. <laughs> if you have any other questions, we love hearing from you. Yeah. Great. Awesome. So um, yeah, go to caritasconference.com and uh, all the info is there. And, um, and then once you sign up, you'll get a follow-up email shortly after explaining more of the details and, and also sharing more details as we get closer to the conference days, since we have uh, two separate weekends in February and March that we'll be doing this. So we hope you can join us. Um, it's going to be wonderful. I won't have a cold at that point, hopefully. <laughs> so my voice will be back to normal. And, um, and uh, we'll all be either in Baton Rouge together or uh, in spirit together on the online version. All right, everyone. Uh, hope to see you virtually or in person at Caritas in 2022. Bye, guys. <laughs>